now we're ready to uh, do the reassembly of the motor and the installing of the spares kit. Uh, what we use here is the SAE 10 weight oil. I put some of that down inside like so and just kind of lubricate that around so that the whole bottom of the inside cavity there is coated with that. We're going to insert uh, a new rotor assembly uh, in this issue because the one that we took out was damaged. So we're going to place that in there, make sure that we spin that around and then the lubrication is on the bottom of that rotor as well. Now at this point you want to hold on to the, uh, the top part of the rotor assembly and we're going to turn this upside down in the vise. But in this case we want the vise to be able to catch uh, the edges of the rotor assembly because we want it to stay in there uh, while we assemble the drive end bearing. That's what we're going to be doing now. So we're going to set that in there like so. Uh, those of you who may have a tabletop arbor press, uh, that would be a real good way uh, uh, to do the assembly on this. Uh, with the tools that we have here, we're just going to use, uh, put it in a vise, and we're going to be tapping down on the inner race of that bearing. Uh, if we tap down on the outer race or on the inside, you're going to crush the bearing, and that's why these tools uh, are so important to the assembly and disassembly of these motors. We're going to tap that down until the bearing is seated in the bottom of the drive end housing. Lift that up and when, when you have a situation where the bearing is just a little bit on the snug side and a little bit too tight because we have to be able to uh, turn be able to turn this by hand which I can't right now uh, I have a, a little stud that I use with a ball peen hammer and I go over here to the drive end side of the rotor assembly and I just give that a little tap like that there and if I need a little bit more just re repeat those steps until we're able to move that. Now at this point that feels like it's it's turning just a little bit too freely. There's not enough resistance there. So I'm going to take it back out. I'm going to set it in the vise again. Take our reassembly bearing pusher and just give that a little bit more of a tap there. Okay, uh, again, you want to make sure that you can turn this by hand, but at the same time, if it's too loose, uh, you want to make sure uh, that you continue to repeat those steps until you get the right uh, tension on there. Otherwise, there's not going to be enough compression. Now, at this point, we're going to take some more of our oil and just kind of spread it around on the top of the rotor assembly and on the top part where the shim gasket is going to go. Uh, a little bit like when you're changing the oil on your car and you want to put an oil ring on the top of your oil filter to, to get a good seal. Now we're going to take our gasket. Uh, there are a set of holes on here, some that are there for to reattach the dead end plate where we're going to screw the top back on. And then this is a real important one right here. There's an air intake hole here. If we cover that with a gasket, obviously it's not going to work properly. You're not going to be able to uh, work your motor. It's not going to turn or anything because the air is being blocked. So we want to make sure that that always gets put on in such a way that it never gets covered. Now there is uh, a spot here where that split pin from your dead end plate when we tap that back in that'll make its own hole so you don't have to be concerned about that at this point. Now we're going to take our veins and we're going to insert those uh, into the cavity here of the 
top of the motor with the uh, tapered side going in towards the center of the rotor assembly. The flat side will be facing to the outside of the motor. Drop that in like so. Okay. Now we're going to take our dead end plate. If you uh, recall, we made a mark on the front here and on the front here also. I can just line those up, line those two marks up, and all your bolt holes in the air intake are all lined up there.